Can I show you my favorite flag that I own? It's really, really cool. This is the flag of Venice, Italy, and its story and history are pretty crazy, and I'll get there, but let's just admire its beauty for a second. A grimace-faced winged lion stares you down as you look over this flag. The lion stands proud with a paw on an open book with text translating to Peace be with thee, O Mark my evangelist. Here thy body will rest. Oh wait, who's Mark? Well, the Mark referred to in this quote is St. Mark, and I'm not a Catholic, but I hear he's a pretty big deal. He's the patron saint of Venice, he wrote one of the books in the Bible, and he's one of the four evangelists. To say that Mark is important to the story of Catholicism is a bit of an understatement. Now back to the text on the book. According to Venetian lore, Mark was traveling from Anquilita to Rome when he stopped in Venice for a break. He was standing on the banks of the Venetian lagoon when an angel appeared to him and said, Peace be with thee, O Mark my evangelist, here thy body will rest. So this connection between Venice and Mark explains why they would choose to put a lion on their flag, as Mark is often depicted in art either as a lion or with lions. Now, this is actually where I thought the story might end. Mark has a spiritual experience in Venice. Mark is often either depicted as or with lions in art. Bada boom, bada bing, Venice puts a lion on their flag. That was until I was doing research about the topic, asking people if they knew anything about the story of St. Mark, when I received this comment. I don't know too much about the subject, but that St. Mark preached and died in Egypt and was buried, I think, in Alexandria. The Venetians only stole his body much later on, I think sometime in the 10th century. Wait, they stole his body? Well, the more I looked into it, yes, the Venetians stole Mark's body from Alexandria. The story goes like this. In the year 828, two merchants, whose names I'm about to butcher, so I apologize, Bueno and Rustico, set off from Venice and sailed to Alexandria, what is in modern-day Egypt, to do business and trade. While they were there, they visited the Church of St. Mark in Alexandria to pray to the saint and worship his relics. And side note about relics, they are the physical remains of a dead saint or pope, usually things like bones and hair, sometimes a blood-soaked rag or clothing left behind by the saint. You get the idea. Anyways, back to the story. So as Bueno and Rustico are at this church, they start talking with two of the custodians and learn that Muslim mercenaries have been plundering Christian churches in Alexandria. The custodians fear that if the Muslims make it to this church, they'll deface the relics of St. Mark. And with that, a half-baked plot to save the relics of St. Mark is concocted. What the four men ended up doing was taking Mark's body, placing it in a basket, and covering his body in pork. They chose pork because it's a meat viewed as unclean by Muslims. They then took the body of St. Claudia, put it where the body of St. Mark used to be, and attempted to sneak out of the city. It's said that when Bueno told the Muslim custom guards that he was transporting pork, they recoiled in disgust and literally turned up and held their noses and let the men go without any further probing. Now, once out of Alexandria, it wasn't all smooth sailing for the four guys and a dead saint. A giant storm raged in the path of the ship that threatened to capsize the vessel. The crew said an aberration of St. Mark appeared to them and helped guide them through the storm. And after eight days at sea, they made it safely back to Venice. They presented the body of St. Mark to the Dodge of Venice, and he dubbed Mark the patron saint of the city. An absolutely beautiful basilica was constructed to house the relics of St. Mark, and with his relics on display, citizens began to pray to Mark for personal protection and protection for the city of Venice from evils and apocalypse. St. Mark was later bestowed with the name the Protector of Venice. And that brings me to this flag. This is my flag of Venice. It was a gift to me from one of my greatest friends in the entire world, Dan. He was in Venice when he bought it for me, and he brought it back to America, explained its significance, and told me that over the last six years, I had become his Saint Mark. Someone to lean on in times of trouble, and his protector from personal apocalypse. The flag now hangs above my desk as a reminder. It's a reminder of Dan and I's bond, our love, and more importantly, it's a reminder to be the kind of person others can pray to for protection. I hope that all of you have a Saint Mark in your life, and more importantly, I hope that all of you can be a Saint Mark for others. This has been the first episode of Red Flags. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you very, very much.